Hi everyone and welcome to day six at the Colour Cave of our Cavemas celebration and yesterday's was a little bit on the epic side. Today's is a shorter video and just before I get started on my Santa haul which I'm sure you're all going to enjoy, I have here, this will be familiar, this is everyone's name in the cup who submitted a question for yesterday's video and today I'm going to draw the winner of the giveaway and the prize for that is a 10 Great British Pounds voucher for Amazon for you to spend on whatever you desire. So if we're going to do this properly, they're going in there and I'll give, oh I've dropped one somewhere, oh um, I did say at the end of yesterday's video, even if I didn't answer your question yesterday or um, it wasn't posted on, oh my goodness, or it wasn't posted on the comment section, some of you did contact me via other methods, your name is in this as well, you have not been excluded. Right, let's go. So our lucky Cavemas winner is... Yvonne Davidson, congratulations, you are the winner of £10 worth of spending money for Amazon. So Yvonne, if you could get in touch with me by one of the social media links that are that are in the description and they're also the end card in the video, <clears throat> because I would, will need your details of you so that I can send you your prize. As predicted, I did receive some arty things from family and of course Father Christmas because he always knows what people like and I have been a good girl this year. So I just wanted you to see some of the things that I have been given over the festive period. And uh, yeah, because everybody kind of likes to know what you get. So I'm just going to grab everything and we'll go to top down view and we can get going. All right, so let's get cracking then and get started with this art mini haul. The first thing that I have been given is a massive packet of Derwent battery eraser refills. There are 30 in here and these belong with the Derwent eraser, which looks a little bit like this. The end just comes out and as this wears down, obviously it gets shorter and shorter and you just literally whip that out. You pop a new one in exactly the same way you squish it back in and that's you ready to go again. I, I was actually having a laugh because <laughs> I've had this for about a year and a half and I have replaced this once so this is probably a lifetime of refills. <laughs> Um, however, it comes in a handy resealable pouch and keeps them nice and tidy. I'm not likely to lose any of them. So that was a good present because I use this eraser. I don't use it for sketching and drawing, but when I'm colouring, I this is my go-to eraser. So having a pack of these is super helpful and something that I am definitely going to use. The next thing that I got was a paint palette. I am very short of these and... Painting in general is something uh, that I, I don't do a lot of. I am not not really a painter, but I want to explore it a little bit more. And just by picking up bits and pieces here and there, I'm hoping that I can build an arsenal so that at some point I have everything that I'll need without having to fork out you know a huge amount of money. So getting things as gifts is always really helpful. Now, interestingly, this came from one person and I was also given this as well which is exactly the same thing but this one is ceramic and the reason I asked for a ceramic one was because I have a lot of liquid ink which I used during in Inktober and I really really enjoyed it and it, it's easier to mix it and work with it in ceramic than it is in plastic because it tends to stain the plastic as well and it doesn't um it doesn't, I was going to say coagulate, it's not really the right word. It, it just, it doesn't group well together on the plastic and it sits much better on ceramic and it's much easier to clean. So that was why I wanted this one. This one wasn't specifically for painting. However, obviously it can also be used for painting. So lots of palatiness going on, considering someone that doesn't paint. That's quite impressive. The next thing that I got, which uh, I was really excited about, was this. Now, these are a set of Uni Posca paint pens and these are the pastel set and this came from Japan. This was probably one of the most exciting presents I got. So there's seven in the, the set. I do have another set of Posca pens. In fact, I'm just going to grab them. I already have this set of Posca pens, which is the sort of basic 12 pack. And these ones have the, the very, very fine nibs on them. And 
the, the, the colours are really vibrant, they're great. So this pack is such, you know, they're really complimentary. These are the slightly bigger size. I just don't know. These ones are the 1M nibs and these ones are the 3M nibs. So they are slightly bigger. I'll just show you these side by side so you can see a comparison. So they're slightly chunkier and slightly flatter as well, which is good because you can cover larger areas with them without using up all the paint. But you can see when they're side by side like that, that's a really complementary set of colours to what I already have. And they look so pretty when they're all in the box together. So I am really looking forward to doing some artwork with these. And I think I might do a video of some description on these as well. Um, that's really exciting. I thought that was such a lovely and unique present as well because you can't get these in the UK. They're very difficult to get hold of unless you get them from Japan. So that was a really thoughtful gift. Okay, we're going to swatch out the Poscas. I have primed these already. When you have a new paint pen like this, the nib is white because there has been no paint flow through it and what you have to do is you have to shake it shake it shake it and then you depress the nib onto the paper and that lets the the paint flow down so i have done it with all these otherwise this video will be about three hours long so let's just start swatching these out oh that's pretty <laughs> got a yellow here as well that looks quite bright on camera, but it is more of a lemon yellow. And they do the, the shade of them changes slightly as they dry because you do have to remember they are paint. This looks like more of like a coral colour or a, a salmon colour. Oh, that's nice as well. I'm not really into pinks, but that's nice. I like that. And we've got a, a sort of pale baby pink. Yeah, that's, that's not really my thing. I, again, some of you will already be aware that I'm, I'm not really a, a, fan, a fan of pink. And here's like a sort of lilac-y, lavender -y colour. That's nice as well. Oh, these are lovely. I'm so excited for these. Oh, look, we have a green. This looks quite minty. I'm hoping it's minty. That's more turquoisey than minty. Still nice, very nice. So you, it's nice to have delicate colours because Poscas are known for their vibrancy because they are paint and it's usually bright colours. Oh, that blue's nice as well. Now I'm just curious as to how this blue matches up to the other blues that I've got in my other packet because it looks quite similar. Let me see here. So this is, this is from the 12, the 12 set. Now, right enough, when I hold the lids together, there is quite a, a significant difference. Let's see what they look like side by side. Okay, right, so that's nothing like that one. That's good. That was the one thing I thought I might have a bit of an overlap, you know, with the, the set that I already had, but that clearly I don't. Oh, I could get some nice nice shading and gradients with these. Well, as much of a gradient as you can do with... with I don't even know if you can do that. There's definitely going to have to be a video on this. I'm just looking at the rest of them. I would like to compare the yellows as well. Oh, sorry, Christmas cardy sleeve. Uh, I'd like to compare the yellows because they might be really similar as well. Okay, so that's the pastel one, which looks quite bright. Again, ah, right, okay, when you see them side by side, they are different. Uh, there's nothing else that looks, you know, remotely similar between the two sets. So I think I'm actually going to end up with a very good complement of colours here. That's awesome quite excited about this. This makes me want to film a video now and you th you would think by this stage that I uh, that I may be fed up of filming videos. <laughs> uh, but clearly not. I'm glad that I still have my enthusiasm despite the, uh, the vast number of hours I have spent filming in the last week or so. <laughs> Surely that's a good thing. That's a good thing for you guys anyway. Put these all back in. Get them nice and tidy. See they look so cute when they're all together like that. I'm in love with these. I really am in love with these. The next thing that I have been given is a set of Pigma pens. And this is a manga set. So it's kind of like a, a curated set, which gives me the 01, the 05 and the 1, which is nibs that I would use anyway, but it also gives me a brush pen. The difference with these ones and why I wanted them, I did ask for these, is that they are sepia. I have Most of my microns are black. So I'll just grab a little sheet of paper here. I've got a scrap bit of paper. 
and we're just going to test these out. I haven't had these out the packet yet, so I have no idea what they're going to look like. But yeah, all my Pigma uh, pens that I've got are black, and I wanted just that variation in colour to make your drawings a bit more interesting. So I've got a brush pen anyway, and the brushes on these are lovely. They're so nice. So you can see it's a... I'll zoom in a little bit. It's not really let me zoom in. You can see it's it's more of a kind of dark brown colour, but the brush tip on this is so nice, and I find them they're they're soft enough that you can manipulate them and get lots of variation in your line widths, but they are stiff enough that you have a reasonable amount of control over them without them going you know willy nilly all over the place. So that's the brush tip. Here's the number one. So this is a very similar size nib to the Micron PN and it's more of a sort of bullet nib. That's quite chunky. And we have the, Z the 05 and the 01s. The I'm more used to, to these sort of sizes of nibs. So there is the 05. So you can see it's a bit finer, a bit better for detail work, a bit more intricate, but also as well, these are really good. When you get to this size, you can get nice hatching in in your sketches you know to put a bit of contrast and a bit of shading in and the 01 is yet again smaller and how nice is that so small really delicate and you can get some really intricate work with these so super excited for these pens the next item in my haul is some Strathmore watercolour paper. Now, I know I'm always saying I'm not a painter. I didn't really want this to paint on it. Uh, I wanted it for my water-soluble pencils. The, I seem to be struggling to find a watercolour paper that I like. And I know quite a lot of people use this. So I thought I would get a, a small pad with uh, just a couple of sheets in it just to try it out. So that is something that's really experimental. And again, it was something that um, when my family, when it gets to Christmas time, I basically just give my family my Amazon wish list, which is 99% art stuff. <laughs> so someone has picked this out for me, which is really, really nice. And when I investigated the paper, it's, it's not quite what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but it is very, very textured. So I don't know how well I'm going to get on with it. Um... It's because of the texture, it's obviously going to take the water really, really well. I mean, it, it is high quality. It is really, really thick. It's, you know, let's see what weight it is. £140 paper, um, 300 grams per metre squared. So that is, you know, that is thick paper. So I, I'd be interested to do a bit of experimenting with this as well and just see what the what the deal is with it. Okay, the second to last thing I got super, super excited about because it's something I actually talked about in yesterday's video, which was obviously filmed before I had opened any Christmas presents. And my mummy, she got me some pan pastels. <laughs> How nice is that? So she's she's given me a sort of baby pink and a baby blue. But not only that, She's also given me uh, some of the sponges that are designed for pan pastels as well to help me out. So I am super, super excited <laughs> about these. Again, I'm not going to test these out just now because I want to do it in my own time. Because it's, Sometimes you just have to keep things back for yourself. And it's the same with the watercolour paper. It's not to say I won't do a video on this, uh, but I, I am excited to try these out. And again, I might have a play with them myself a bit later on. Uh, it's something that I'll probably do a video on, if I'm honest. Um, but I am excited. It's weird because they just remind me of makeup. You know, they just, because of the size of them and the containers that they're in, it just makes me think of makeup. That would make a really nice colour of blusher for someone with pale skin. <laughs> anyway, so if we have a look at the at the sponges. They are, this is like a kind of like a variety pack. And this is obviously applicators again, which makes me, you know, think of this as makeup. So we've got a, they, they're, they're not really soft, but they are, they are malleable. Um, they, they do have a slight 
firmness to them which obviously is to help control your where you're doing things so there's a, a sort of triangular one here and it's got a a gouge out of it so that gives you like a, a pointy corner for precision you know if you just used it on on that corner and you've got a wider end if you want to cover more areas the, this is quite an interesting one as well and lots of rounded corners really good for going in circles when you don't want sharp edges we have one that's sort of in the middle, so that might be quite a good all rounder. You know, if you're if you're doing something that's got wider areas and tighter parts, you might be able to use something along that size. They are they are all the same consistency. I'm just giving them a squeeze, and lastly, uh, just a square one. So I think that's probably enough to get me started. Again, I say I, I actually don't know an awful lot about these, but that's half the fun, isn't it? So looking forward to getting cracked into that. Now, last but certainly not least. And I'm sure you're all going to appreciate this. Now again, this was my this was my mother. This was Mama Jim that did this. She said, "I've I've got you a a very important pen," and she said, "It's it's really, you know, it's it's one of those pens you're going to have to take care of it." And I'm thinking to myself, "What has she bought me?" When she said, "I need to take care of it," I think she meant I need to brush it. <laughs> This is a not a normal writing pen. Uh, it has a normal ballpoint nib on it, but it is fluffy and it has a pom pom on the end. <laughs> you can see where I get my daftness from and my sense of humour from. This is exactly the the thing that I'm talking about. I'm just like my mum, and this is the kind of stuff that goes on in our household nearly every year. There is always something like this. It looks as if she's killed, uh, you know, a, a small animal for it. <laughs> It does feel really nice though, but I can imagine this is going to get grubby really quickly. So I think this might be one that just has to sit in my in my pen pot and look colourful. <laughs> However, it does bring some colour to the cave. Let's see what it writes like. I hope it writes nice. Well, actually, I don't hope it writes nice because if it does, then I'll have to use it and then it really will get grubby. Oh, it does write nice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and it's blue. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. So there you go. That is my Santa art haul for 2018. I hope you've enjoyed this. I am going to go and enjoy the rest of the festivities. We have lots of things going on today, which is Boxing Day. And uh, I've sort of holed myself up in the cave just to do a little bit of filming. So I hope you are all having a relaxing Boxing Day if you're celebrating Christmas. And in fact, I, ha I hope you're having a relaxing day regardless of whether you're celebrating or not. And we shall see you tomorrow for another video here at the cave. Happy cave, Miss everyone. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I would love it if you would leave me a comment telling me which item out of the haul you would most like to see a video on. You can check out some of my other videos here and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you tomorrow!